Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to get some control over the mind. Because as the Buddha said, the mind is a forerunner of all things. If the mind is in good shape, everything else falls into line. If the mind is in bad shape, then no matter how good things may be outside, you're still going to suffer. So this is where everything begins. So make sure the beginnings are good, and when the beginnings are good, the end, the end is sure to be good as well. You have to remember we're not simply on the receiving things in life. We're out there looking for happiness. Sometimes we look in the right places, sometimes we look in the wrong places. And the things we do can either be skillful or unskillful. It's because of our ignorance that we go to the wrong places and act in unskillful ways. So that's what we've got to overcome. And what are we ignorant of? We're prim primarily ignorant of our own minds. Our attention is focused so much outside that we neglect what's inside. So here's some time to look inside, see what's going on. Who's making the decisions inside? Is wisdom making the decisions or is greed, aversion, and delusion? You've got lots of different people in here, lots of different voices, lots of different opinions. So you've got to sort them out. And being with the breath gives you a good place to stand, a good place to stay as you sort them out, because you're right next to the mind. It's hard to find anything that's closer to the mind than the breath. You know, the breath gives you a place where you can stand outside of all the conversations and look at them. When an unskillful thought comes in, how does it push its way up to the top? One of the ways it does that is by hijacking the breath. So if you make sure that you're in control of the breath, these things can't hijack it. And that weakens them, puts you in a stronger position. So as you go through life looking for happiness, you come from a position of strength and clarity. The unskillful things we do come from a lack of clarity and also from fear, a feeling of weakness. We're afraid that other people might do this or that to us. And so we put up defenses and just grab anything that we feel will give us some protection. And all too often the protection comes back and hurts us. Think of King Basenity coming to see the Buddha. This was after years and years of years of strengthening his army. He finally came to the realization that if a person acts unskillfully, in other words, breaks the precepts, then even if he has a full fourfold army, they called it back in those days, he's still not protected. He leaves himself open to all kinds of bad, the results of bad karma. But if your mind is skillful, your actions are skillful, then you don't need an army to protect you. Your skillfulness is your own protection. So the bad things come out of the mind, but good things come out of the mind as well. So as you train the mind, make sure that it's doing only the good things. And that will take care of everything else. <laughs>